Word of mouth. Word of mouth is extremely powerful. In fact, it's 10 times more effective than advertising. Word of mouth works because of two things, trust and targeting. We trust our friends to share with us what is important. We also know that they will inadvertently target what we want to know about. Back when Nelson Mandela died in December, I found myself re-watching the movie Power of One. Anyone remember seeing this movie, seeing it? Powerful, powerful movie. Uh, apartheid, World War II. And I really got stuck in this notion of the power of one to influence the power of many. But then I got thinking about it, it's not really one to many, it's actually one to one to many. I need to give you a reason to share it with your many. So it's not really about me sharing, it's about me making Kathy look good so that she'll share it with her friends. Okay, it's not about you, it's about them. If we can remember that one little thing only from tonight, that would be probably my most powerful thing when you're using social media. It's about them, it's not about you. So if you can give them something to make them look smart, funny, insightful, and connected to an inner circle, that to me is the secret. Make them look good, make them look funny, connected. They will share it. Okay. Melissa Coker did a really, really interesting, vi powerful viral video this past spring for Wren Clothing. Uh, did anyone see a, a viral thing going around called First Kiss? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that probably a lot of the room, because you guys are kind of the target for it. So um, great story behind this. She did it herself. Budget of $1,500. She only used $1,300, and it was for catering, babysitting, and lighting. She used 20 friends. They did not know each other. Ten couples paired together for the vulnerable act of a first kiss with somebody you didn't know. Now, they were wearing red clothing, but that was very low-key in terms of, 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 the, of the budget, or the, in terms of the, uh, the film. And the Wren name appeared very, very subtly in the top left corner. I'm going to just play for you the be very beginning of it so we can kind of see the setup on it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Um, do we just do this anytime? Yeah. You ready? Yeah, take your time. We're ready. Oh. Turn off the lights. <laughs> Come on. Justin. Elizabeth. How are you? Nice to Shall meet we make you. out? Absolutely. <laughs> this, this here is the awkward moment. So we saw the Ren logo at the top. That was it. That's the only identity there is. No website at the end. I'm gonna stop it before it gets embarrassing. <laughs> but you get you get the sense of it. I even forgot his name. It's pretty scary. <laughs> so it takes them. It takes them through the whole, the awkwardness, right through to the kind of the insecurity, the vulnerability, and then finally through to the end where it's humor, where the one lady says, what was your name again anyway? You know, it's, 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 it's brilliant. But the thing with this is it was disruptive. It tapped emotion, vulnerability, and it, but I believe it's this whole notion of voyeurism. We wanted to kind of see, and we kind of wanted to share. And that was the secret behind this. This was not a big budget thing. Advertising agency not behind it. She did it all on her own. Here are some of the numbers. Okay, 69 million shares, views on YouTube within the first week. She uh, experienced a huge uh, increase of people coming to her website, up 1,200%, of which 90% were first time visitors. And her sales boosted 13,000%. That's huge money. Now, this would only work for a company like that. She was, you know, the fashion industry is kind of edgy, right? Uh, you couldn't do this for a corporate kind of client or whatnot. Uh, but it was about trust, it was about targeting and giving people something to share.